Welcome, Climate Viewers. This is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com, September 13th, 2021. And in a previous video, I just covered uh, geoengineering over the Great Barrier Reef and how that involved the Silver Lining Project and Marine Cloud Brightening Project. Got a follow up on that. Amazon and Jeff Bezos are throwing money at the Silver Lining Project. They're going to be funding. Uh, geoengineering studies and through the solar radiation management governance initiative all the details to come if this is your first time here please uh, hit the subscribe button turn your notifications on I'd greatly appreciate that and if you can support my work everything I do is free of charge and I would greatly appreciate that as well so let's get into what's going on here so this is the video I made it was originally recorded September 5th um, 2021 on my other channel, which is now deleted, I've now moved it to my main channel, my only channel, the channel. Just a quick reminder, please hit that sub button. Um, and there's actually been a response to this, which is ironic because the Marine Cloud Brightening Project has not tweeted since 2018, something I pointed out in this previous video. And the video was uh, Geoengineering the Great Barrier Reef Marine Cloud Brightening Project. So um, check that video out for if you want to get the rest of the story. Um, we're not going to recover uh, that because the video is literally uh, premiered September 8th. So just check it out on my channel. Um, but what's going on now? What's up with Jeff Bezos and company? So Amazon supports climate simulations with cloud computing. Um, right here it says the e-tail giant is collaborating with the nonprofit Silver Linings Safe Climate Research Initiative and the National Center for Atmospheric Research, NCAR, to implement in a global climate simulation model using the advanced AWS technologies, their cloud, Amazon Web Services, cloud computers, that they're going to throw their money into, well, you know, here, use all of our, you know, cloud servers to model the globe. And by the way, model what the globe's going to look like after you do geoengineering. Don't believe it? Uh, this is a program administered through the Solar Radiation Management Governance Initiative and UNESCO. Um, now, longtime followers of the, my channel and, you know, you longtime climate viewers, you already know about this. But this is the Solar Radiation Management Governance Initiative. Uh, been around for quite a while. And our goal is to transform the environment in which decisions about SRM geoengineering will ultimately be made, ensuring informed and confident representation from climate vulnerable um, countries. So this is a NGO that takes money to fund solar radiation management governance, um, you know, laws behind it, global laws, that sort of thing. Um, big problem. Uh, all brought to you by Amazon. Thank you so much, Jeff. I uh, really appreciate you throwing your money. So now we can add Jeff Bezos to Bill Gates in the uh, fight for blocking out sunlight or reflecting sunlight from uh, marine clouds. You got to love this stuff, right? Yeah, it's so great. I would, uh, I'm, I'm going to just laugh instead of cry. But they have several goals down here listed at the bottom. Um, and we're not going to go through the whole article. All these links will be in the details uh, posted in the comment at the top of this video. And the Silver Lining Project, as you can see right here, is at silverlining.ngo. And you can scroll down and quickly see that, you know, they mentioned this as well, made possible by a generous donation from the computational and technical support of AWS and NCAR and the Amazon Sustainability Data Initiative and Silver Lining are collaborating to run the first ever full production climate model simulations on the cloud. Um, it's funny there. Marine cloud brightening. They're going to be doing it on the Amazon cloud. Small world, right? Um, so who's behind all of this? Well, you know, Kelly Wozner is co-founder and senior advisor of the Marine Cloud Brightening Project and uh, you know, the executive director of Silver Lining NGO, which I covered in the previous video. She did a uh, colloquium event called Planetary Intensive Care, Reflecting Sunlight to Cool the Climate. Um, so she is the director of the Marine Cloud Brightening Project and Silver Lining Project, and they you know got their money from 
not only Jeff Bezos, but Bill Gates as well. More on that in just a second. Marine Cloud Brighton Project, as a reminder, is at mcbproject.org. Um, and on there, you can see you know, exactly what their intentions are, who's working with them. You can go to their collaborators and you can see, uh, you know, Robert Wood, Sarah Doherty, and, uh, you know, the list goes on. Uh, Kate Murphy. Why am I saying these names in particular? Because after I recorded this video on September 5th, there was, you know, there's been a long silence from the MCB project. Like I said, since 2018. Um, no tweets, just, uh, you know, as you can see here, their last tweet was in 2018 and their pen tweet is about Kelly Wasner and her, um, planetary intensive care reflecting sunlight, um, article. So yeah, they were kind of dead in the water and I make a video on September 5th and what do they do? They go and release this on September 7th. So out of the blue in response. Hey, let's talk about the MCB project. This is on IEEE Spectrum on September 7th. Here's how we could brighten clouds to cool the earth. Ship tracks over ocean reveal a new strategy to fight climate change. Now, if I were to make a video and read this in, to you in its entirety, what you would quickly realize is this is a very lengthy um, article. So we're not going to get into this because they really get into all the technicalities um, because this is an engineering thing. But of course, they mentioned the Marine Cloud Brightening Project right at the top and they go on to, you know, talk about solar climate intervention and how the University of Washington Palo Alto Research Center, Pacific Northwest National Labs, all the members of the Marine Cloud Brightening Project. And it's written by Kate Murphy, Gary Cooper, Sarah Doherty and Robert Wood. It's literally written by the members of the Marine Cloud Brightening Project. But Bill Gates, um, back in 2010, also um, Silver Lining, which has received $300,000 from Mr. Gates, is developing machines to convert seawater into microscopic particles to be sprayed into clouds. So there it is. Proof's in the pudding. Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, all supporting... Uh, the Marine Cloud Brightening Project, which has now come back into the public light and has, uh, you know, got their their um, puff pieces out on uh, IEEE Spectrum dot whatever their website. So check that out. Um, I'll put all the links in the details. But, you know, how do you feel about this? Please leave me a comment. Do you think that we should continue to support companies like Amazon that think it's OK to support the Silver Lining Project, the Marine Cloud Brightening Pro Project, and the Solar Radiation Management Governance Initiative. These are facts. Facts don't care about your feelings. And uh, if you find these facts to be valuable, I would greatly appreciate your support. Please hit that subscribe button and uh, please share this video because sharing is caring. And I really uh, care about this topic a lot. I hope that you found this informative and with information comes power and power comes great responsibility. So please use this video and the information in it to attack ideas, not people. Love you, mean it.